Paul Tucker had been appointed Richmond's chief of police several months ago, but we had encountered each other only briefly at a social function. Tonight was the first time we had met at a crime scene, and what I knew about him I could fit on an index card. He had been a basketball star at the University of Maryland and a finalist for a Rhodes Scholarship. He was supremely fit, exceptionally bright, and a graduate of the FBI's National Academy. I thought I liked him, but wasn't sure. Marino doesn't mean any harm, I said, as we passed through a yellow light on East Broad Street. I could feel Tucker's dark eyes on my face and sense their curiosity. The world is full of people who mean no harm and cause a great deal of it. He had a rich, deep voice that reminded me of bronze and polished wood. I can't argue with that, Colonel Tucker. You can call me Paul. I did not tell him he could call me Kay because after many years of being a woman in a world such as this, I had learned. <laughs>